What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys had an amazing holiday. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Pokemon that has been highly requested for me to showcase on the rank ladder, Claude Sire. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way and it really helps me grow as a content creator. So I give a huge shout out to everybody who is a subscriber to the channel. But like I said, we have Cloud Sire today. And Cloud Sire is such a cool Pokemon. I could just look at this Pokemon and it just seems like a Pokemon that you just want to hug. Like it looks like a stuffed animal. But it's just like big little, what is it? I don't even know what it is. A slug? It, I don't know what it is. It's, it's definitely an amphibian, but it's the Pal Day, Day and Whoopers second stage. And I really do like this Pokemon and cannot wait to showcase it for you guys on the rank ladder. But we can get started here with today's team preview. We have the one and only Spirit Tomb in that top left corner. Spirit Tomb is going to be great for uh, popping Trick Room and at the same time popping the weakness policy on the Cloud Sire. It has Infiltrator as its ability, Focus Sash as its item, and then it's got Trick Room, Psychic, Sucker Punch, and a Will O Wisp for its four moves. Second Pokemon is going to be the one and only Cloud Sire. It is a poisoning ground type with the unaware ability. Like I already mentioned, it has a weakness policy as its item, then it's rocking Poison Jab and Earthquake for Stab, Liquidation for Coverage, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Third Pokemon is going to be Orthorm over here. And Orthorm is really good, especially paired up with Cloud Sire. It has EQ, so you know. Earth Eater can prop on him and you can constantly get HP back on the Earthworm. That's a Citrus Berry as item. That's got Heavy Slam, Helping Hand, Shed Tail, and Protect for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Salamence, a phenomenal pseudo legendary with a great ability with Intimidate. It's holding the clear amulet as the item. Then it's got Dragon Dance to set up, Dragon Claw for coverage, or not coverage, Dragon Claw for stab, Dual Wing Beat for stab move, and Protect for its fourth and final. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Gardevoir, and Gardevoir is phenomenal in ranked battles. Just a solid typing with the Fairy and Psychic, and its ability is really good considering you can use EQ or uh, big hitting moves on top of it. It has Telepathy with a Light Orb, and then it's got Calm Mind, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Protect. Can't really go wrong with the Gardevoir on any team. Final Pokemon is going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be Amoongus over here. Amoongus is another one of those Pokemon that you can't go wrong with on your team. It has Regenerator as its ability. The Black Sludge as an item to get HP at the end of every single turn. Rage Powder, Clear Smog, Giga Drain, and Spore for its moveset. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Cloud Sire team. Hopping into our first battle for today's video, going up against an Annihilate team alongside Indeedee, Murkrow, Miascarada, Armor Rouge, and Mousel. So he can definitely pop Trick Room. I definitely got to watch out for that. I might allow him to pop Trick Room and just lead the Earthworm alongside Cloud Sire and maybe just Shed Tail into a different Pokemon. How do I want to play this one? How does Jeans want to play that one? Because Final Gambit could do me really, really dirty. I might want to go into Spirit Tomb and Cloud Sire just in case he does want to pop the Trick Room. I'm all about that. We'll bring Orthworm in here and then last but not least, either Salamence or Gardevoir. And I'm leaning a bit more towards Salamence here. Actually, Gardevoir's not bad. I do like Gardevoir. I do really like Gardevoir. Especially because they're going to probably pop the Psychic Terrain, right? Hmm. What do I want to do here? I'm liking Gardevoir a bit better. I think Gardevoir's the call. I'm going to go into Gardevoir. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But if you guys see like a mess behind my room, it's because I have all my Christmas presents back there. And I got a few good things for you guys and the YouTube channel. I got a brand new desk, which I got to build. It's a motorized desk. I don't really know what that is, but it's going to be absolutely awesome. I got a new gaming chair. So we're going to be bringing that into a video very, very soon. And the most important thing I got is a green screen. And I'm super excited to actually be bringing you guys that. I'll probably cut myself out. I won't really have a background anymore. And my videos will just look a lot cleaner. So can Cannot wait to set up all that stuff and bring you guys some better content. But our opponent's going to end up leading, who was it? Mousehold and... What is that? Mousehold and Annihilate? Okay. And I'm just going to pop a Trick Room here. I think it's a safe call. And I'm just going to protect the Cloud Sire, right? Got to protect the Cloud Sire. Are you Ghost-type? You are. So Okay, so Population Bomb or Gambit can't hit me. I'm all about it. So yeah, I'm just going to protect you. I'm going to pop the... I'm going to pop the train. Or not the terrain. I'm going to pop the trick room. So Cloud Sire is going to get the protect. Look at that thing. It's so adorable. <laughs> I love it. And a beat up's going to come out here. And okay, I've seen this. Uh, oh, are you going to Shadow Claw to me? If that's the case, I'm very, very scared. If that's the case, I am very, very scared. But I've seen this in my last video I recorded. I'm going to go for Rage Fist. Ooh. No bueno. Can you eat? Oh, you have Sash. Awesome. Dope. That works perfectly for me. But yeah, I've been seeing that a lot on the rank ladder where you pop a mouse hold, you go for beat ups, you hit that Rage Fist or the Annihilate multiple times. So it's Rage Fist gets that stack on top of that. Okay, I'm fine with that. 
So he's going to end up having leftovers. That's totally fine. And from here, I can just simply start popping EQs, right? Do I proc weakness piles here? Or do I just double down to you? I mean, follow me could come out here, which would suck. I'm going to try to pop weakness piles here and just start popping free EQs. Right? It seems like my best bet. I'm all about the EQs. I got to get off as much damage as I can. He protects and annihilate. That's totally fine. We're going to start getting off some damage onto the mouse hold. And I wonder what mouse hold's going for. Oh, protect. So we get a free weakness policy pop here. So we get the free policy pop. And now I can double down to annihilate if I want to. I really got the special defense drop. Get out of my face with that. <laughs> RNG, do me dirty. And I can't even see my cloud sire because I have not fixed the, uh, the camera angles yet, which is atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. So I can pop free EQs. Um, hmm. And I think I would rather double down into the Nihilate, right? Psychic and EQ. Actually, I take out my Spirit Team, which isn't too bad. I get to bring out my Orthworm. I have Orthworm out here. I mean, I can constantly heal it up with uh, Earth Eater. And I kind of go from there. So, Annihilate's back to full HP. Mouse Hole's always been at full HP. And I'm just going to bring out my Earth Eater. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm with it. I could Helping Hand. I could Heavy Slam. I think Helping Hand would be our best bet, right? Just boosting that damage. If Shed Tail. I do not want to Shed Tail yet. I could Heavy Slam. I think I'm just Helping Handing. It's probably my best bet. I, I really like the helping hand set here. So I'm gonna help a hand out here. And I like does have very high HP stats, so it, it might be able to eat up this uh this helping hand EQ. But I kinda hope not. So helping hand comes out here. We're gonna get the claps keys going and we're gonna pop a big big time EQ. Follow me comes out here. That's a waste of a turn. We like that. We like that. We like that. If I go into the EQ, it's going to do no damage to the Orthworm due to its ability. And then here comes the EQ. Can we do some big time damage here? Big time damage. Popping the Sash. I am scared of that Annihilate right now. Very, very scared. Drain Punch comes to the rear. We soak rather well. Another EQ can KO. So we know another EQ KOs that Annihilate, which is huge. With the Helping Hand. So I feel like that's just our play, right? That might be our play. I wish I had like... I wish I, I could Shed Tail here. I do want to shed tail very, very soon. I do want to shed tail very, very soon. But I don't think we should shed tail just yet. I think it should be like our last turn in trick room, right? We have two. So next turn should be our shed tail turn. Um, yeah. I'm here. I'm just going to help a hand again and go into another EQ. It's pretty simple. Because what I want to do is before trick room, I want to be able to shed tail out. Get a substitute into my Gardevoir, so when Trick Room ends, we can have a faster Pokemon on the field. And if that uh, substitute's still up, we can freely set up a free Combine, get that special defense and special attack boost, or just get off a free attack. So it ends up protecting Annihilate again. That's totally fine. We can take out Annihilate next turn, and we can take out you next turn. So, again, just wasting out Trick Room turns. Do I want to pop the Shed Tail now? I mean, this is just free HP for Worthworm. This is just free HP. Now, my problem with the EQ is I don't know if without the helping hand we can take out the, uh... I don't know if we can take out the Annihilate without the helping hand. And I really don't want to risk it. So, I'm just going to helping hand again. I'm going to say that it KOs. No, we definitely need that. We definitely need a helping hand to KO. We definitely need it. So, our opponent's just trying to waste out trick room turns. I don't think we're sitting in a bad position, especially if you pick up a double kill here. Hmm. Gonna be close. Gonna be close battle. This is a solid battle. Yo, Cloud Sire is doing some work here. I wish we were able to pick up the KO onto the Annihilate with the first shot. But again, it is so bulky in the HP slot. It's really tough to one shot at Annihilate. Especially without a super effective move. Let's get it, Cloud Sire. Get after it, boy. Get after it, dude. I'm loving this Pokemon so far. It's a lot of fun to use. I think our opponent might go for double protect. No, I guess not. We go for the helping hand again. We're gonna get after it. So he's just going to go for a feint. That's fine. So he just wants to chip up a little bit of damage on me before he goes out. EQ is going to fly. And that's an easy double kill. We know we're KOing the mouse hold. Annihilate should die here, right? KO the Annihilate, please. Thank you. So we finally get rid of that Annihilate. Annihilate is taking over the meta at the moment. And we get rid of the mouse hold here as well. So really long battle so far just to pick up a few KOs. So the Trick Room is gone. I want to Shed Tail really bad. And I really want the Shed Tail last turn. But I just couldn't. I had to use Helping Hand there. He's going to go into Meow Scarada, which is a little tough. And I might just have to protect my Cloud Sire. 
I might just have to protect my Cloud Sire. Which I'm thinking of doing. And shit tailing out. Yeah, I'm thinking of shit tailing and protecting Cloud Sire. I could go for a Poison Jab. But Cloud Sire is probably dead. So, I'm just gonna protect Cloud Sire here. I'm gonna hope that the Miascarada is throwing a shot into that. And we'll see what he wants to do. He's gonna go for a knockoff into... My boy here? Oh no, in the Cloud Sire. We like that. We like that. That was Miascarada, right? And this army boy is gonna come out here from... Indeedy. Okay, so that's totally fine. That's totally fine. So, solid Shed Tail turn. We're out of here. We're dipping with half HP, and we're gonna bring out Guard War. Not a bad, not a bad battle so far. I can freely EQ again. I can freely EQ easily. And the reason I can do that is because Gardevoir has telepathy as its ability. Allows that Pokemon not to get hit by ally Pokemon. So I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I can go into a free Gleam. And I can go into a free EQ. I'm loving this. I'm loving this turn so far. Follow me comes out here. It's okay. We're using double hitting moves. We're using double hitting moves. Playing really well right now. Knockoff comes in here and we eat. That's pretty much GG's. That's pretty much game set and match. Played that one perfectly. Really well. Gardevoir dumps on Miascarada because it's stab, super effective, and we have Life Orb. And then his EQ should pretty much just clean up the battle. But yo, Claude Sire? Did not think this Pokemon would be this strong, and it's absolutely ripping here in battle number one. EQ's gonna fly. Telepathy's gonna pop. We can't be hit. And EQ does not take out. We give him a free Focus Ash. A free Focus Ash. I don't like that one bit. But I don't want my Claude Sire to die, so I'm just gonna protect. I'm protecting. <laughs> Battle was canceled. We start off 1-0. Let's hop to our second. Look to go back to back. Second match coming at you guys. Going up against a Gujo team. And what a surprise. They're rocking another Annihilate. But I feel like I've been versing Annihilate on every single battle I've been doing on YouTube. I swear, it's always Annihilate. They also have the Storm Drain Gashdon, the Furgraph, which is arguably the best Trick Room Setter in the game. And then they got the Torkoal and the Amoongus. I think Furgraph is going to come out here as a lead. So do I go into... Cloud Sire and Spear Tomb. It's definitely a possibility. And I really don't mind going into it, but Final Gambit could be scary. That would be my only problem. Would be Gambit would be terrifying. So I think Cloud Sire and Spear Tomb is my lead. I'm liking that a lot. I really do like that. I could go into Salamence and Orthworm instead of the Gardevoir, but Gardevoir works here as well. So we go into Gardevoir instead for lead. I really do like the Cloud Sire, but we know he's going to pop a Trick Room. That's my only problem. We know he's popping a Trick Room. I kind of want to go, go into Salamence instead of... Instead of Gardevoir. But Gardevoir looks nice here, too. Gardevoir does look nice. Hmm. I'm going to take the Salamence, though. I'm going to take the Salamence. And the reason for that is... I just like Salamence more. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. We just used uh, Gardevoir in the last battle. So I like Salamence a little bit more. If you guys know me and if you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, in most, of, most circumstances in the videos... I will not use the best Pokemon for that situation. I will use the Pokemon that I haven't showcased yet. And since we haven't showcased Salamence yet, we're going to be rocking out with Salamence. If this was like a tournament or if I was playing for money, obviously I would go into Gardevoir. It just works a little bit better. But he's going to go into those two. I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to protect you and hope that the Frigoraph pops the Trick Room. And just go for a Psychic into Annihilate. I could go into a Sucker Punch. But I'd rather go into a Psychic. And I do think he's going to Gambit me and then pop a Trick Room and kind of go from there. And what are you doing? What are you doing? Harass Lies and Furgaraph. Okay. Into Fighting? Okay, Furgaraph. I see you. I don't know what the point is of that. But maybe just to dodge some moves. I'm going to protect the Cloud Sire. And he's going to go into the Gambit, into Cloud Sire. This was a great read by us. Oh, no, he went to Spear Tomb. That don't affect me. You're crazy. You're crazy. And we end up dropping a nice little Psychic. So Psychic's going to do some nice damage. And there's a Trick Room. I'm kind of I'm kind of all about that Trick Room. So he pops the Trick Room. That makes my Cloud Sire a bit faster. I can freely pop EQs. I'm going to pop an EQ. And I'm going to pop Weakness Policy yet again. I can't go for Sucker Punches either. I'm versus a Frigoraph. Actually, Frigoraph might be slower than both these guys. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but Spear Tomb Cloud Sire? I don't think any of our opponents are expecting this combo to be this strong. I'm surprised it went to Final Gambit into my Spear Tomb. 
Probably just a little little mistake. I make those all the time. It's all good though. It is all good. We shall see. I'm gonna withdraw the Nihilate. I'm cool with that. Do you know where Papa Nikus? Guja. Ah, okay. That's fine. Wait, Heart Swap's in the Guja. He's gonna save the Nihilate for later in the in the in the match. Considering it is probably choice scarf. And we're gonna pop a little EQ with this weakness policy. No weakness policy pop. Cloudsire, can you go next? You should, yeah. Cloudsire goes next. Built, built, built. Big time EQs. Doing some big damage all around. And Psychic's gonna fly, and that might KO me. Can you eat this up, Cloudy? Cloudy, I love you. I love you. Cloudsire would big time eat up, and I can go into an EQ. And I can keep Spirit Tune for later purposes. But I can just go into an Orthworm here, right? What am I gonna do? Yeah, I kind of want to go into you, right? I mean, what could you do, Spirit Team? I mean, you can will it, but you're going to die if you stay in. That's a problem. I'm going to go in the Orthworm here. I'm just going to free, freely swap an Orthworm so we have it later usage. I'm really liking that. I'm really liking that. We'll not take no damage from this uh, from this EQ due to its ability. Earth Theater, and I think we just pick up a simple double KO. Right? Yeah. Simple. Simple plays by Cloudsire. Yo, Cloudsire. I did not think this Pokemon would be this strong. It is absolutely tearing through teams. I just don't think any of our opponents burst it so far. So they just don't know what to expect from it. And I'm just prop popping weak to policy and just steamrolling with EQs. It's a simple game. It's a very simple game. He's forced to throw out Annihilate again, which will go last. I can take it out with another EQ. And as long as you don't have first turn priority Pokemons, I should be thriving here. There's an Annihilate, and it's going to be Gaston. It's fine. It's game, set, match. It is over with. It has been lovely. EQ going to fly, and I'm just going to helping hand the EQ. It's going to be a simple helping hand EQ, and this might be a sweep. This might be a sweep unless the Gaston survives, which it definitely can survive this EQ, and take out my Claude Sire. But we'll see. We'll see. Helping hand from the Orthworm. <laughs> Yo, this is too broken. This Cloud Side is broken. He's broken. Insanely strong. EQ pops here. Takes out the Nihilate. Almost picks up the sweep. This close brings the Gastron down to like 4 HP. He's going to go for Muddy Water. Cloudy, eat this up. Cloudy does not eat it up. Cloudy out for the count. I love you, Cloud Sire. You would think that it would be like neutral to like water moves because it looks like a water Pokemon, but it's not. But Gastron goes down to Life Orb, and there's a victory. Like I said, Cloud Sire is absolutely broken. Pairing it up with the Spirit Tomb to pop the weakest policy, then bringing in an Orthworm. It's just unstoppable at the moment. Final match coming at you guys, and again, we're going up against another Annihilate. This is just... It's getting on my nerves. I'm over it. I'm over Annihilate right now, even though I absolutely love the Pokemon. Just seeing it and versing it in every battle. It, it's a little annoying. It is a little annoying. They also have the Moongus, the Sylveon, the King Gambit, and then the Mousehold alongside with the Miascarada. So again, we can definitely see the uh, beat up combo going into Annihilate. And for that reason, I feel like Spirit Tomb and Weakness Policy Cloud tires it again. We're going to bring in both of them. I'm going to bring in Salamence and I'm going to bring in Earthworm. We're not going to be bringing in Amoongus in any of the battles today. You guys seen plenty of Amoongus. It's not a big deal, but we just haven't used Salamence just yet. We haven't used Salamence just yet. We used Gardevoir in the first battle, came in the back end, whipped up some Dazzling Gleams, ripped on Miyashko out and all that. And Gardevoir is just a phenomenal back end Pokemon. But Salamence works the same way, just different typing. It's legit different typing and different type of attacker. So you got a physical attacker, you have a special attacker to go in when Trick Room ends. And I feel like both of them work really, really well because the idea of this team is to pop Trick Room with Spirit Tune, pop the weakness policy, freely EQ out with uh, Orthworm and Cloud Sire. And then when the Trick Room's about to end, you pop the Shed Tail. So then you can bring in either Salamence or Gardevoir with a big substitute behind it. And then they can either set up a free Combine or a free Dragon Dance before the substitute ends. And then you can just pretty much steamroll the rest of the battle. But this team synergy is insane. It is definitely insane. I'm loving this team so far. And it's just amazing, especially with Cloud Sire, because I know a lot of people want to see Cloud Sire, especially me myself. I love this Pokemon so much. Its design is absolutely amazing. And I'm glad to see it actually being viable on the rank ladder. It is absolutely amazing and simple, simple to use. Super simple to use, I should say. Our opponent's gonna end up leading. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? A little bit of Annihilate action. I'm not worried about it. I've been versing Annihilate all day. And you know what? I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna pop a Trick Room. And on top of that, I'm gonna protect my Cloud Sire because I need this thing to be protected. And I need to roll after the battle. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. 
fine by me. It's fine by me. You want to play games? I'll play games. I will play games. Let's see what our opponent does here. Our opponent's got to be going for this. This seems like it's just, it's just like the meta right now. The beat up into Annihilate. Just punching into my Pokemon with Rage Fist. It just seems like the play, right? It seems like the play. So we'll see. I, if I had the guess, it's going to go beat up, right? And I'm hoping he goes into Cloud Sire. I'm hoping he goes into Cloud Sire. We'll see what else one plays out here. Oh, would you look at that? I did not see this coming. Definitely did not see this coming. Beat up into Annihilate. That's fine. You can punch on whoever you want. I have a Protect going out from my Cloud Sire. I have a uh, Focus Ash here as well. I um, want you to look at that. He goes after my Protected Cloud Sire. Love you, Cloud Sire. And on top of that, I get off a free lovely Trick Room. Love this game. Love this game. It's a beautiful Protect from us. Um, we're going to Psychic. We're going to pop with this policy yet again. And we're just going to start freely EQ through. We're going to hope that the Mouse World goes for following me here as well. That would be beautiful. Actually, no, it wouldn't because then we can't do that. Hmm. We're still going to try it. We're still going to try it. And then I'll, I'll freely pop EQs. No follow me allowed, asshole. No follow me. Let me let me pop the psychic first, and then you then you can follow me all you want. I just want my weakness policy popping. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. We'll see. But again, I, and this is this three battles in a row where we saw annihilate. It's getting old. It's getting real old. It's getting real old, guys. <laughs> Even though, again, I probably all of us love annihilate because the design is absolutely amazing. It's just so strong. Especially for ranked battles, it's absolutely amazing. So it's tough to not use it. Follow me just come out from now, so it kind of ruins my my strategy here. But still, Psychic can chip up a tad bit of damage, a tad bit of damage, and Eki's gonna fly up really around. Into my Spirit Team as well, chipping up a little damage on Spirit Team. Can you go air for my Spirit Team, please? Cool. I'm 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 all about that. So Spirit Team's gonna drop out. Uh, and what do I do from here? Just keep popping EQs. That's scary. Uh, I could bring it. No, I cannot bring out Salamence. I really need my weakness policy popped. I really would have loved that. Uh, Orthorm could be a play. Just start helping hand in these. I think so. I think at this moment it's our, it's our best play. Even though Quad Sire is looking a little scary here. Or uh, Annihilate is looking a little scary. We're just going to do this. I'm going to hope he like drain punches or something into my... Actually... Yeah, I guess. I mean, if he drain punches into my Earthworm, we're going to Citrus Berry Pop. And on top of that, we'll get the uh, Earth Eater HP. But this one might be tough, considering we couldn't pop the weakness policy on our Cloud Tire. So I don't know. I do not know. I could double down to Annihilate next turn, which could be pretty solid. I don't think I would mind that turn. Man, dude, I wish the weakness policy was popped. I really needed it. I really needed it. Dude, it's just been mouse holds in the night leaps. I can't, I can't, I can't compete sometimes. I mean, the first two battles we competed, but this one's looking a little tough. He's going to protect here. That's totally fine. You going to double protect? No, single protect. So if single protect comes out here, we're popping EQs freely. Not affecting our earthworm like normal. And Cloud Tire is going to deal some nice damage. Nice damage here. Rage Fist is going to fly through here. Go ahead for Cloudy. That really KOs me. I don't like that. Now I'm popping Defiant. Everything's not looking good. No bueno. Not good. Not good. <laughs> not good. See, it seems like if you don't get that weakest policy popped, Annihilate can just run through you. But we're going to have to pop this Defiant here, which... Uh, not too good. Not too good. <laughs> Definitely not too good. Unless you're not Defiant. Are you not Defiant? Not to find. It is good. Okay. So be like that. Uh, I can heavy slam into one of these guys. I could terrestrialize here too if I want to. I'm just gonna do wing beat. Oh, now can he, are you allowed to use shed tail? If you're a final Pokemon on the field. Like if you have nobody to swap into, are you allowed to shed tail just to set up basically like a sub? I feel like you should be able to, but I feel like you can't. And I really don't want to risk it and just waste a turn. So I'm just gonna keep heavy slamming with the Earthworm. I feel like this Earthworm can really uh, get a lot of usage for using what's it called? Oh, like Iron Defense. 
A nice little bit of terrestrialization from your boy. We go into straight flying. And we're gonna hope he doesn't go follow me, but he probably is, right? Yeah. The so follow me is popping. Orthworm's gonna have you some. Can you KO here? You can. I like that KO. That's a big time KO, Orthworm. It's a big time KO, buddy. Keeping us in this match. He might be going for a drain punch here. Oh, we got speed. Beautiful. I'm gonna say bye bye to you. Get on out of my game. I'm not dealing with that thing. Get him on out of here. A beautiful out speed. We pick up a double kill. Um, I could protect my Salamence just to try to waste out Trick Room turns, but it really depends who he brings out. Because right now, Trick Room seems to be helping us. Trick Room seems to be helping us just a tad bit. Just a little bit. So, their final two Pokemon versus my final two Pokemon, they're going to end up bringing out Sylveon. Good thing we did Terrasalize here. It's a great Terrasalization turn. And Miascarada. Okay. Okay. I don't mind this. So, Heavy Slam's going to be able to do decent amount of damage here. And I think Miascarada should be fastest on the field. Correct? Makes the most sense, right? Yeah, I'm thinking turns should go Earthworm, Sylveon, Salamence, Miascarada. Which, ah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I kind of like the trick and turns here. We have one more. I could see Protects pop it out here. I'm just going to throw a nice, lovely dual wing beat into this Pokemon slot. Protect comes out from Sylveon. Maybe a Protect coming out from Miascarada. If it doesn't, it is dead. Yeah, so double Protect comes out here. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. It knows what moves we're using. It can terrestrialize its uh, Sylveon in the fire type. Could definitely see that happening. But this battle is actually a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. I thought that Annihilate and Mousehold were just going to steamroll the rest of my Pokemon. But Salamence came out here and get some work done. But yo, this Pokemon is bright. Just like sparkling right in my face. Alright, we're going here. We're going with a dual wing beat. He's going to terrestrialize one or the other. We have super, super effective moves on the bow, so I feel like Miascarada is either terrestrializing in the dark or just protein switching into straight dark and then sylveon if i had to guess might terrestrialize in the fire just go after orthworm with like a terror blast you never know but that, that that would be my guess right yeah sylveon fire sylveon water sylveon water i'm kind of curious to see what what's that to dodge i feel like fire is so much more viable with sylveon knockoff coming in here oh no bueno i saw my clear i we do get the kou we do get the KOU, and he's probably dropping a Hyper Voice. That's a big time KO. Sing Sash, too. Loving it. Loving it. Good thing it's a dual wing beat. We hit twice. I love that sound of that. It's just whoops. Whoops. <laughs> just whipping him. Just whipping that Miascarada. Hit that thing two times. It is dead. And Orthworm, or yeah, Orthworm goes. That's pretty good for speed, but not good for up against the Sylveon. Can you eat this up, Salamence? Oh, no. We're gonna lose this. I don't think there's a way we win this battle. I don't know if there's a way we win. We still have our Citrus Berry, don't we? I think it's Leftovers. We still have our Citrus Berry. Oh no, it's not Leftovers, it's Throat Spray. Alright, looks like we're just gonna have to constantly do this. If this thing has Terrible S, then we definitely lose. But we're hoping it just has like Hyper Poise, Quick Attack, Protect, and something else. And maybe yawn? It might have yawn. So it might put me to sleep. We shall see. But that, that, that was solid for them to terrestrialize in the water. Water's not bad. I, I, I just feel like it gets more value uh, value out of the... Uh, oh, it does have Tire Blast. I thought it would get more value out of the fire ter terrestrialization. How much damage are you doing? We died of that, yeah. Yeah, solid third battle though. Came down to the wire. I thought we had a chance, but terrestrialization in the water does us dirty. What an amazing set of battles for today's video. Going 2-1 and one and absolutely dominating the rank ladder with Clodsire and Spiritomb. We also had the Salamence and the Orthworm and Gardevoir in the back end. We did not get to show up case Amoongus, but you guys already know what Amoongus does. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.